You see it? Oh, I'm gonna take a picture of it so y'all can really see it. It smells so good. people how y'all doing thank you for joining me for another episode of soul food sundays i'm your host b and as you know i am the owner of sweet granny bees we got on our sweet granny bee apron check out our website sweetgrannybees.com um we have delicious desserts and if you like southern classic desserts that will take you back to your childhood and everybody then check out our website and see what all we got but today Okay, so this is one of my family favorites. We gonna make a pot roast or beef roast, whatever you wanna call it. But we gonna do it in a slow cooker cause that's the, in my opinion, that's the easy way to do it. Cause you just throw the stuff in and you make sure you season it right, of course. Uh, but then you can just, you know, check on it throughout the day and you don't have to be, you know, ripping and running and checking every few minutes. So we gonna make ours in a slow cooker. Now, what we are going to do, what I've, I, I haven't done in a few episodes, is our libation. We're going to bring that back today. Okay, so today, now I don't know how you pronounce this. It's a Estacado Lino. It's a sweet blush wine. And I got it at the um, Strawberry Festival here in Houston. That was a few months back. And I tasted it there and it was fantastic. So, yes, 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 yes. This is great and it's great for me because it's not really sweet. I don't like really sweet wines, but I also don't like really dry wines either. I like it kind of in the middle. So this is a sweet blush, but it's not extremely sweet like some things, some wines can be. Um, and some of the red wines can be a little a little too dry for me, but this one, this is great. Y'all see my cup? <laughs> uh, this one is really, really good. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna enjoy this while we cooking. So we gonna come back and we gonna get into this thing and I'm gonna show y'all how to, how to make a fantastic beef roast for your family and we are gonna have a good time doing it. Oh, and as you know, Soul Food Sunday is all about family, fun, fellowship, and food. Food, food, good food, good food for the soul. All right, good people. So we're gonna go through and show you our ingredients. So I got some celery, some onion. We have our chuck pot roast. We got some um, rosemary, some thyme, our garlic and onion powder, and you know the staples. Uh, we got some minced garlic black pepper we got our seasoned salt we also have some beef uh, bouillon cubes we're gonna use that we got some potatoes and carrots i'm also gonna throw some uh some snow peas in there at the end i'll show you that and then we got a little bit of oil so those are the ingredients not too much uh but this is super a super easy uh recipe so all right so we are back and so the first thing we are going to do is saute our veggies a little bit. So we're gonna put some oil in the pan, just a little bit. And I'm using canola oil, but you can use butter or you wanna use a different type of oil, feel free, whatever you wanna use. We're gonna saute our celery and then we slice our onion long way so we're gonna saute that and that's about a um it's about one small onion or you can do a half of a medium onion put that up a little bit more um and you just want to slice it and then you're going to saute that in the oil until translucent so we're going to do that kind of break it up a little bit Good. 
I will spread that around once you see the flavor. This is over medium high heat, so. Alright, just want to get that garlic in there just a little bit. Smell it real good. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna get this and put it into our crock pot. Alright, so we're gonna put this into the crock pot. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so delicious. Let me just wanna scrape all of that there and put it into your crock pot. All right, now we're gonna prepare our meat. All right, so now we are going to season our meat. So we got our roast and I'm gonna sprinkle it with some seasoned salt and really just wanna kind of a, a light sprinkle over there, you don't want too much, but you want enough, of course. I'm gonna put some pepper on here. Again, you just kind of want a, a light dusting over the surface area of the of the meat. <clears throat> put on your onion powder. Another just a light sprinkling of that and your garlic. Then you want to put on a little bit of your rosemary. And I have rosemary leaves. You can use ground rosemary, whatever you want to use. And a little bit of your thyme. This is a powder. It's ground, so we're just gonna put a light sprinkle of that. Not too much, just a light sprinkle. And then you wanna just kind of rub it in and massage it into the meat. Um, just make sure you're doing it on the sides too. And then we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on this side. Make sure, and make sure you wipe off your containers when you're done. <laughs> I don't have all that residue from you rubbing on the meat. So a light sprinkling on this side, same thing. Pepper. All right, and so next, we are going to sear it. So we're gonna get that together and show you what that looks like. All right, so now we're gonna put a little bit more oil in our pot. So the same pot you use to saute the vegetables. We're gonna put a little bit more oil in there. And then we are gonna sear. I'll spread it around a little bit. Then we're gonna sear our meat and we're doing this so we can lock in the juices. When you sear it, kind of seals it uh, to make it juicier uh, as it's cooking so it doesn't dry out. So that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so now we've seared it on all sides. So we are going to add it to our crock pot and we're going to add a few more ingredients. So we're going to add uh, some water. Got to tell you about that. And then we also have some cream of mushroom soup that we're going to add 
as well, but I'll show you all of that. And it'll be in the recipe, but right now we're gonna add our seared meat to the uh, to pot, and then I'll show you the next steps. Okay, so now we are adding our water. So we just place the meat on the bed of veggies, and we're adding our water, and really we just want enough to, uh, to almost cover the meat. Not quite cover it, but almost cover it. And then, <laughs> We are gonna add our two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And what this does, and this is condensed, is gonna give it a good gravy. Cause what's a pie roast without gravy? You gotta have the gravy. So we're gonna add that in. <clears throat> and we'll probably have to thicken it up a little bit later, but we'll see. Cause we're gonna be looking at it throughout the day. We'll see what it's looking like. And if we need to thicken it, then we'll just add a little bit of flour. Uh, to to the mixture. So you kind of want to just move that around a little bit to help it dissolve. And then, last but not least for the moment, we are going to add some bouillon. So we want to add four of these. And we put about, let's see, about six cups of water in there too, just so you know. So we're gonna add four bouillon cubes and these will dissolve as it heats up. And what we're gonna do is cook this on high heat for three hours and we're gonna check it. And then we're gonna put it on low heat probably for another three hours. Uh, but again, we'll check it and see how it's coming along as the day progresses. And uh, I'll let you know exactly what, what I do. So we're just gonna put these in and really, that's about it, y'all. Of course, we're gonna taste it and see what it tastes like to see if we wanna add anything to it. So I always tell y'all, taste. Taste your food to make sure it's seasoned how you like it. You gotta taste it. <laughs> all right. So that is all. We're gonna cover this and we're gonna set it on high. Set it on fire. And that's it. Nice, simple, easy. Now it's gonna be cooking for a while, but for the most part, it's simple and easy. And you know me, just a few ingredients, but it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna get into this. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's delicious. So I'm gonna get into this, and then when we come back, we'll have let it cook on high for three hours. So I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll be transitioning to uh, uh, to cook it on low uh, for another few hours. So I'll be back. See you soon. All right, look at this. I wish y'all could smell it. My house smells so delicious. It does, I'm telling you. But it's been cooking for about three hours, you can see. So we're gonna have to add some flour because the, the juice is not thick like we like it. We want it to be a thicker gravy. But we are gonna add in our potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and put that in. And then we're gonna add in some baby carrots. Put some of those in. I also added a couple of bay leaves that gives things like uh, stews and soups and stuff some really good flavor. So I added that in as well. We put in a half a bag of these carrots. Get that down up in there. Mm -hmm. And I just want to add some snow peas. You don't have to add this, uh, but I'm going to add some. So. Now, like I said, I'm just adding these because I want to. I want some extra veggies in my stew. Um, so I'm gonna add some snow peas in, but you know, if you don't like snow peas, don't add them. Or you don't have to. It's up to you what you want to add in. Uh, but we're gonna let that cook and we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna cook it on high. We're gonna put it on low. And then we're gonna let this simmer for another three hours in in this delicious juice. 
We're probably gonna taste it in about an hour and a half. Taste the juice just to see what it's tasting like. And we're gonna sprinkle this flour in and that's gonna thicken up our gravy. That's a fourth of a cup, so we're gonna see how that do. May need to add a little bit more, we may not. that in there, push that on down. I'm gonna just let this cook for another three hours or so and see where we at. We may let it cook for four hours, who knows? We just gotta look and see. So anytime you're cooking in a crock pot, it's an all day kind of dish. You start it in the morning and it'll be ready by that evening when it's uh, dinner time. So super easy. Super convenient, but oh so good. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna roast some asparagus with it for, to pair with it. I might make some rice, but we got potatoes in here, so I think we'd probably be good on the carbohydrates. So, all right, y'all, we are going to let this sit for like another three hours. Like I said, I'm gonna roast some asparagus and put that with it, and um. But I'm gonna let you see as it's cooking so you can see the next portion, but it smells so delicious. That's when you know you got, you're cooking something good. When it, when it smells good, people come to your house and they be like, well, your house smells good. I be like, I know. I be cooking. But we gonna taste it in about an hour and a half and see what we are working with, see, see how it's doing, so. All right, we'll be back in about an hour and a half to show you what we got. All right, y'all. Oh, look at her. She is back. See that? See that gravy? Mm -hmm. Meat is tender. Yes, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> All right. Let's put this in a bowl and give it a taste. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. We are back. Y'all see this? See it? Oh, I'm gonna take pictures so y'all can really see it. It smells so good. Oh, I'm ready. I decided not to do the asparagus. We're just gonna go with the veggies that's in here with this gravy and these potatoes, but all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is it right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yes, it made me do all that. Mmm. 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 Even carrots taste good. All right, y'all. I'm about to get out of here. And this ended up cooking on low for about four hours. This is what we did. See, I refilled my libation. This is good stuff. Y'all need to get this. Um, easy. It take a little while to cook, but it's certainly worth it. Uh, so y'all need to go ahead, get you some of this with these taters and this gravy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get you some of this and make it. It's fantastic. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you haven't had a chance, please subscribe like the video y'all cook this and tell me what y'all think cook it tell me what you think put it in the comments but this is fantastic i'm telling you tell me you y'all need to make this for sure again mm. your family gonna love you all right let me go i'll see y'all later